Hey guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial using a lot of Inglot products. I purchased a lot of new things at IMAT and I've been using a lot of them and I wanted to put together kind of an artistic but still pretty wearable look. So in this tutorial I'm using two of the new eyeshadows from the What A Spice collection. I purchased four of them. They're absolutely beautiful. The pigmentation is amazing. It's a new formula for their matte eyeshadows and I didn't know that pigmentation could be that good. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Let's get right into it. For a base, I'm going to take the Inglot AMC Eyeliner Gel. This is a waterproof nude liner. I love to use it as a base for my eye looks. It's really nice, creamy and opaque, and it's waterproof. So it's a great base and color corrector. So the two colors from this palette, I'm going to use this light shimmery gold first, and then go into this kind of antique matte orange. So I'm going to take these on the Inglot 13P brush, which is a really nice small defined eyeshadow brush. So this gold is really beautiful, really intense. You can see how much it is pigmented. It reflects the light beautifully. It's a amazing inner corner highlight. So I'm going to start taking that further than I actually want it to be. So I'm taking it about halfway up my lid. Going into that orange, I'm going to apply this starting out on the outer part of the lid and then when I have a little less product on my brush, I can start sneaking it in towards that gold and start blending those together. Next, I'm going to use two shades that are new to Inglot from the What A Spice collection. So I'm going to take this warmer, lighter shade first and apply that to the outside of the eyelid. I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to use a Sigma E25 blending brush. So I'm going to go into that first warm shade and start applying that into the crease. Just start off lightly and start building up that color in the crease. So I'm doing a C shape around my eye, just blending the edges out. Then I'm going into that darker, more red, rusty color and applying that to the crease where I really want to darken it up. And I can also connect that to the bottom lash line. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm going to use the Inglot Coal Pencil number no. five on my waterline. So I drew my first wing using the eyeliner gel number no. 90, which is a nice matte chocolate brown waterproof liner using the Inglot 31T brush. Next, I'm going to go into number 77, which is their black liner, and I'm going to apply a tiny wing underneath. Next, I'm going to take number 76, a really bright white liner, and apply three dots between my two liners, just as accents, and it'll almost look like I have little diamonds or something, some detail. I'm going to finish the look using the Buxom Lash Mascara. My last step to accent the white dots, I'm taking a bit of Inglot's Duraline, which is a waterproof mixing agent. I'm taking one of Inglot's pigments, this really beautiful shimmery champagne. So I'm going to take just a little bit of that and apply it over that white liner. So that is how I achieved this look. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you in my next video.